the tallest building in the history of the world is about to open its residential floors. But first, a private security agency must approve the safety measures and protocols. The villains strike quickly to destroy this building before it can be insured, which means this will be a massive financial loss for the building's owner. But the villains did not count on one man, his wife, and his two children attempting to save the day. So, does Skyscraper live up to the over-the-top, action-packed, explosion-palooza promised in the trailers? Or is this summer blockbuster busted? Let's talk about it in this review. There was a time when we as a society collectively decided that summer action blockbusters needed to feel a little bit more realistic. Collectively, we all somehow agreed that ridiculously placed safety measures, foreign villains with European accents, lots of explosions, Tons of gunfire and perfectly placed one-liners weren't cool anymore. And so we went through a period of time where these action summer blockbuster movies felt a little bit more grounded. Throw all of that right out the window because this film celebrates everything that was awesome about all of those summer action blockbusters from yesteryear. This film is testosterone-fueled madness that seems to enjoy every minute of itself. And I enjoyed every minute of it enjoying itself. That sounded weird. Let's just keep moving on. Okay, back to the film. The plot of the film is pretty simple, and that's okay. This movie knew exactly what it wanted to deliver, and the trailers prepared us perfectly for what we got on the big screen. There are a lot of working pieces in this film, and that was probably my only issue with this movie. There are just so many subplots in this film from beginning to end. We have friends and partners betraying each other. We have extortion, revenge. We have a kid with asthma trying to escape the burning building and the protagonist in this film is disabled. Plus we've got everything going on with the two expendable henchmen and the helicopters and lots and lots of duct tape. Again, surprisingly, it's just overstuffed. However, the writers did a really good job of weaving everything in so that by the end of the film, everything makes sense. By the time the film concludes, we understand why A plus B equals the Skyscraper movie. Also, before we move on, I do want to mention that everything that happens at the beginning of the film makes sense by the end of the film, and that's important to remember. Now let's talk about the action, because the action in this film was what I was there to see, and I'm happy to report that it delivers all of the action scenes and sequences gloriously. We have lots and lots of explosions. Fire consumes a building. We've got helicopters, some of which explode. And then we've got the local law enforcement trying to figure out who is actually the bad guy in this story. And they're doing their own little manhunt throughout the story. Finally, we've got cranes that move around and people can jump off of into the building. We've got vodka. We've got duct tape. We have a sword. Yes, that's right, an actual sword. There's grenades. There's an elevator that plummets from 90 floors up all the way down to the first floor on the ground level. This is non-stop, people. And then, just to make sure that we're really capturing the spirit of those action movies, The Rock is able to deliver a one-liner or two throughout the film. For example, when he gets the piece of metal shard stuck in his shoulder, he pulls it out, he cleans it with vodka, he wraps it with duct tape, then he makes a joke about duct tape. Then he takes a beat, waits for a minute, lets the joke set in, and then he takes a drink of the vodka. It's little moments like this throughout the film that really elevated my enjoyment because it shows they were really paying attention to what they were doing and how much fun they knew we wanted to have as an audience walking into the theater. And finally, one last example. So the safety protocols, when you're gonna reset them, that all has to be done on the outside of the building in the middle of the building, and that is surrounded by a swirling fan. So the rock literally has to climb down the building, scale across the glass using duct tape gloves and duct tape on his shoes. Again, more duct tape. Then he's got to repel down. It gets so ridiculous. Then he's got to jump through the fan to get there and then jump back through the fan to get back. And as I'm sitting there watching this all unfold, just having thoughts in my head about how ridiculous it is, but still so much fun, 
they give The Rock a one-liner that completely captured all of the thoughts that were happening in my head, happens on screen. They knew exactly what they were doing, they knew exactly what the audience was thinking, and they delivered it to us in such a fun way. Skyscraper is playing at your local movie theater right now, and I am recommending a big screen viewing of this film. The magic of this film rests entirely on the fact that it knows exactly what it is, and it celebrates that 110%. And it makes no apologies for it either. And I will not apologize for how much I enjoyed this movie and my time spent in the theater watching it. This is an abundance of action movie goodies that are all just swirled together for us to enjoy in the theater with strangers who also just want a fun summer action blockbuster. Again, the trailers did a great job of preparing us for what we would experience on the big screen in the theater. And because of that and all of the other reasons that we've just covered in this review, Skyscraper is getting both high fives from this guy. Skyscraper is playing at your local movie theater right now. Be sure to bring your tortilla chips because this movie delivers all of the cheese for the nachos. Go check it out.